family welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by here on my tutorials today in this video today i'll be showing you how to make a front twist dress without a pattern so this is what i will be showing you today on today's tutorial and i want to say a very big thank you to my old subscribers both home and abroad i love you all without two guys i would not be here i appreciate your love here on this channel if you are new here, you are highly welcome to this channel where you can learn how to cut and sew easily. So, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe button and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get you an update as I will be uploading my new videos. Without wasting much of your time, let's get started. Alright, this is the material I'm going to use for the front twist dress we are going to make for today's tutorial. And then the measurement. I will be needed for today's tutorial hair. Back measurement is 15 inches. Half length is 15 inches. I have the hip measurement 37 inches. Bust is 34 inches. Waist is 29 inches. And the length of the dress we are making is 40 inches. So I want to mark the marginal line. Marginal line is what I'm marking right here. So I'm marking 0 0.5. The chalk is not really showing because of the texture of the material we are using. Pardon me for this. If you cannot see, please put your mind there so that you achieve it. So this is my marginal line. Then the back measurement is 15 inches like I said. Then I'm going to add 1 inch to this or 15 inches then i'm going to divide it into two it's going to give me eight inches and um, you can add more than that to yours and if you so wish you can mark your normal back measurement because i want to have pleating on the shoulder that's why i added one inch so i marked eight inches so the half oh, sorry the ammo line is 7.5 and this is what i'm marking 7.5 from the shoulder is the hammer line then i'm going to connect the hammer line to the shoulder so i'm connecting the hammer line to the shoulder i hope you saw it then i'm going to mark the half length i'm marking the half length like i said the half length is 15 inches so this is what I will be marking. 15 inches is the half length for today's tutorial. The shock is not really showing. I don't know. Pardon me for this. So from this half length, I'm going to get the hip line and you can call it hip point. So this is my half length. Then I'm going to measure 8 inches and I'm going to mark it. So I'm marking 8 inches below the waistline, you know, where we are having our half length is the waistline. So this is the bust line, waistline, and the hip line. Now I'm going to place the side seam, the measurement. The bust measurement is 34 inches, divided into 4 is going to give me 8 points. So I'm placing 8.5 Then I'm going to Add 1 inch Joining allowance For 1.5 1.5 for joining allowance So this is what I'm going to add So I'm marking the Bust but this is my bust line I'm marking it then the waist measurement is 29 the waist measurement is 29 then 29 divided into 4 is going to give me 7.5 and then you know we are going to have our twist on the waist line then I, I need more allowance I need more allowance than the bust line so I'm going to add the entire allowance to this waistline. 
So I have 7.5 for the measurement for the normal measurement then I'm adding the remaining allowance. So this is a hip. So this is a hip. The material is folding. Then I'm going to you know stretch material. So that's why it's like that. So a hip is 37 inches divided by four is what I'm placing, then I'm adding three inches. I'm adding three inches. So three inches is what I'm adding right here. Then I'm going to mark it. So having done this, I'm going to connect the neck together, the dots together, hip to waist, waist to bust, and to the length of the dress we are making. So I'm connecting already. Then, once I've done this, I'm going to cut. I'm cutting the shape out. So once I've done this, I'm going to cut it and show you. All right, guys, I'm cutting right here, as you can see. And then I will show you what I cut. So I'm done with cutting both front and back. So this is a back panel and this is the front. Then I'm going to set the back panel aside because we are working on the front panel i told you the length of the dress we are making is 40 so i made it 45 so i added like five inches to it because of the style we are making you know we are going to twist it and we are not using slash and spread so that's why i added four or five inches you can add four inches five inches depending on the length you want so five inches i added is okay by me so this is the waist line this is the hip line so what you are going to do is to just take your dart your dart what i mean by that is nipple to nipple so take your nipple to nipple dart so here i have four inches so if you are having five inches, you are going to take five inches. If you are having four inches, take four inches. So I'm taking four inches for my dart right here. And then I'm going to mark it this way. So this is my four inches right here. And then from this side, from the same side from this side i'm going to cut from here to reach this four inches here i hope you get it this is the waistline the half length is 15 inches so this is the half length is 15 inches as you can see then i measured my dart the dart of the girl we are making this dress dress for is four eight inches divided in uh, sorry eight inches divided into two is four okay because we are cutting on four but when you unfold it is going to become eight inches so as you can see we are cutting on four so you are going to cut from here you are cutting from this side from the same line the waist line you are cutting from here to reach wherever you that ends to that is i have four inches for the girl i'm making this for then i mark it here then you are going to cut from this side to reach where four inches or five inches or whatever you are using for your dart that is your nipple to nipple so you are going to stop at on that point and this is what i want to do right here So it so I've cut it now. I still have my four inches intact. This is my four inches. I hope you saw my four inches. So I still have my four inches intact. So I'm going to open it for you right here. 
so this is what we have so i opened it now here i have my eight inches as you can see i have eight inches from here to here so this is my that then i'm going to fold it back so i'm folding it so as i've cut it right here so you know i'm going to twist it then i i i need to cut this front panel into two to achieve the twist at the front so i need to cut it into two so this is what i want to do i'm going to cut it this way i'm cutting it into two i'm cutting the front panel only front panel Only my front panel is what I'm cutting. So I'm done with cutting and this is what I have. This is what I have. So I hope you saw it this way. Now I'm going to twist it this way. This one side, and this is another one. We have moved. I say we have moved. So, as you can see, I use my pin to hold this place down. Then I'm going to twist it this way. gently and carefully so i want to have two twists that's why i added five inches for i added five inches allowance for the length of the, to the length of the dress so I want to align it very well so as you can see so you can have more than three on two twists so depending on your length depending on the length of your dress so I will go to my machine now and join this point together so I'm joining these points together I will join from here to this part and then I'm going to hold this place this way and then I'm joining from here I'm joining from there to this part then I'm going to join the you know I cut front panel into two so i'm going to use 0 0.5 to join to join this part so i will join this part i'm joining the center front that i cut together so if you have your emmy gum you can use it and you can join it like that so depending on your choice, you can use your Emmy gum and you can join it with your machine. So guys, I'm going to join from here to here and from here to this side. Then I'm going to join this and then I'm joining the upper part. Then I'll come and show you how it looks like. Guys, this is how far we have gone on the front two dress we are making. So I've joined this part and this place as well. Then the center front I cut into two, as you can see, I've joined it like that. And then this is the neckline. You can create any shape you want for your neck. So I'm going to pipe my neck from here to this waistline 
and then I'm going to do the same thing I did here to this one. I told you you can use your emmy gum to do this, and if you don't want to use your emmy gum, you can actually use your machine. You can use your machine to achieve it. Okay, so this is what I will do. I actually cut sleeve. I cut sleeve for this a beautiful dress you are making. So if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve, you can check the link below. I put the link below. Go and check how to cut a basic sleeve. So once I've done this, I'm going to place back panel on this front panel and then sew the side seam, both right and left, and attach the sleeve. Then I'm going to pipe this point, like I said. Then we are true with this gorgeous front twist dress we are making. Yo, 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 yo. This is very, very lovely. Perfect, beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> what else should I call this front twist dress you just made? This is very, very simple to make. Like I said, my to do is very simple to make. So this is the neck and the twist part of the dress on the waistline. Oh my God, I'm sure you like it. Please watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you can make yours. This is very, very beautiful and lovely and simple to make in less than 20 minutes you are done with it. If there's anything you want to share with us concerning this video or the previous one, can let us know in the comment section below. Thank you.